Good afternoon, this is Arlene Wilson, Master Gardener for Yates County Cooperative Extension. And today is a very short video. I'm going to share with you a little bit of strategies and philosophies when it comes to hardening your seedlings. So, in this seed journey, I created two lovely terrariums for my seeds. And so, right now, here is the okra that I started a couple of weeks ago. And so they've gotten a good bit of height. Uh, one of my friends didn't quite make it, so we're down to the final three. It's like the voice or American Idol. You know, you start out with a lot, and it's only a few, and make it to the end. And these are the peppers. So they had a, a much hardier turnout, and these are hot peppers, habaneros, jalapenos, uh, all of the spicy ones. And so, part of the hardening process is just literally leaving the plants outside to get a little air and to get a little sun. Not very sunny today, but it is warm enough. It's in the mid-60s, but this is a good day to have them out. And so, hardening your seedlings is a lot like raising your children. So you pamper them, you protect them when they're little, you treat them like hothouse flowers, literally and figuratively, you keep them inside and close to you. Then as they get older, just like your seedlings, as they grow, they need a little more freedom. They need to see what it's like out here in, in the great outdoors. So this is their chance to, to uh, test drive this uh, thing called outside. So they're going to get air, they're going to get a little bit of breeze, and that breeze, that air, actually helps make them a little stronger. All of that movement actually helps the stem to become wider and become stronger. They also get used to turning to face the sun and having to travel and uh, trace the sun to be able to get that energy for photosynthesis. So again, uh, just the another part of that seed journey and we're almost to the end and the last step after they've hardened off is they're going in the ground but in this hardening off stage they're going to be outside for a couple of hours so probably once it's in the mid 50s uh, low 60s you can bring it outside for a couple hours don't leave it outside so that it gets cold you don't want to get into the 30s and uh, then you want to bring them back inside and so they can get warm again. So again, this is Arlene Wilson from Cornell Cooperative Extension uh, sharing my sea journey, which is almost over. So thank you and you have a good day.